What's going on everyone, Juicebags here, and welcome back to the channel. Stardew Valley Update 1.5 is here, and if you're already playing it, there's a good chance you are on the hunt for the Golden Walnuts as they rule the world over on Ginger Island. Now, part one of the big ways of earning these Golden Walnuts is going to be to complete quests. One of the main quests that you're going to pick up relatively early once you start exploring the island is from Birdie, uh, the old lady on Ginger Island that likes her fishing. She's going to give you the quest, The Pirate's Wife. Now, The Pirate's Wife, you're going to start off with a war memento that you get from Birdie. Now, the most challenging thing for me personally with this update so far is getting stuck in my head where everything about Ginger Island will take place on Ginger Island, and that is not the case. So we got a war memento here. Let's get the Pirate's Wife completed by heading on over and talking to our local veteran, Kent. Now, after turning the war memento in from Kent, uh, you discover a little bit more of the story, and Kent is going to give you some gourmet tomato salt. Gus, of course, is going to just love this gourmet tomato salt, so let's head on over and give this to Gus. Now, once we get things all turned in with Gus, he's going to give us our Stardew Valley Rose. So the Stardew Valley Rose, we're going to have to hop the bus and head on out to the desert because we need to go see Sandy. After we give the Stardew Valley Rose to Sandy, she is going to hook us up with this advanced TV remote that's been sitting on her shelf and has gone unpurchased. Now, George, of course, is a big fan of watching the television, so we are going to go ahead and take this on over to George and raise his quality of life through the roof with this advanced TV remote. George, in turn, is going to give us an Arctic Shard, which the secret here is it says magic right on the bottom of it. So magic means wizard. We are going to head to the wizard and get on out to give him the Arctic Shard. The wizard, in turn, is going to reluctantly give us a wriggling worm. Now, a wriggling worm right at the start of it. Willie's out looking for bait. Uh, yeah, Willie wants the wriggling worm, and that's going to be his special bait to catch his fancy catfish that he's been hunting down. And then once we give the wriggling worm to Willie, he in turn is going to give us the pirate's locket. The pirate's locket washed up on shore here long ago, and Willie is kind enough to hook us up with it. Now, if you were like me and you're completing this quest line in the middle of the summer, one problem you're going to find is Birdie doesn't fish in the rain. And it rains almost every day on Ginger Island throughout the summer. So as soon as you can find a day that isn't pouring down the rain, you want to head back on over to Birdie, turn in the Pirate's Locket to her, and complete the Pirate's Wife quest line. Birdie's going to hook you up with a large stash of golden walnuts and a recipe to make fairy dust. Hopefully this helps everyone out in completing the pirate's wife. Uh, Birdie is one of those NPCs and the golden walnut hunt, remember, is very limited. So you're going to get so many from fishing. You're going to get so many in the caverns or from mining. You're going to get so many from combat. You're going to get the rest of these to fill in the rest of what you need directly from NPCs in completing these quests. Thanks again, y'all, and I will see you next time around. Take it easy.